Welcome back to another episode of Dark Souls 3, my friends. Where we left off last time, we, uh... Fuck, I kind of forget now, but... I remember we're going to be merging those two videos together. The five minute one and, yeah. And I'm, sadly, I'm going to have to do that using the, uh... What do you call it? The YouTube video editor. Oh, a pike. That's an interesting one. Where's that? Here. Long spear with a very long hilt. Designed for long range thrusting. So am I. Heh. Heh. No. Okay. Um, has the longest range of any non-projectile weapons, but its length makes it unwieldy in certain situations. Uh, we're not able to use it because it requires quite a bit of strength. But, oh well. Look at that. That looks pretty badass. Especially on our character. And a unique thing about a pike is that you can hold up your shield and still... ...thing with it. Pretty long thrusts. It's different to say a spear. Because with a spear. I think you have a lot less range. I'm not really. Yeah, you have way less range than a pike. Like, look how short that is compared to the pike. Like, such a massive difference. But, um, yeah, we'll switch back to our Hollow Slayer Greatsword and continue on. I don't know what I'm going to do about those crabs. Will I just run past them, or will I... I'm partially thinking run past them is my best bet now. And then just see what the items are on the other sides of them. Because I remember seeing some items. Oh god. That wasn't an NPC. I thought that was an NPC. Why did I think that was an NPC? Oh god. Oof. He's a strong fucker. I think we handled him quite well, to be fair. Hmm. Okay. Oh, is that... Ooh. They were a big enemy in Dark Souls 1, if I saw that right. Ooh, wow. Oh, God. Is that a Silver Knight or a Black Knight? Black? That looks like a Black Knight. Oh wow, it's really cool to be fighting these guys again. After like... How long has it been now? A game? Two games? Not a game since they haven't been in it. Ah, uh, they're cool. I love them. The Black Knights. Okay. So there's an item up here. Oh, Cell Sword. Hmm. Let's uh, read, read the description on it. Metal armor interwoven with coarse cloth, able to endure the hardships of battle and prolonged travel. Oh, this is a uh, starter outfit. It's the... Um, it's the mercenary starter outfit, I believe. If you want to check that, and I'm sure you kind of don't, you can go back to the very first episode and check when I was going through all the different uh, classes that we could possibly play as. Uh, yeah. So if we did end up a sword, we would have looked like this for a while. 
Hmm. See, I like this outfit, but at the same time, I don't. Like, I feel like the skirt part at the bottom just looks bad. Like, it just looks really bad. Like, I just think the armor set would look a lot cooler without the skirt part. It just look. It doesn't look bad even. It just looks out of place because you have this like really cool looking like breastplate, and then underneath that you have this weird interwoven rope skirt thing. I don't know. Maybe I'm being nitpicky, but yeah, the skirt with the cape. Eh. To me, eh. No. 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 Doesn't go. Totally being nitpicky, but whatever. Maybe you feel the same way. Maybe you don't. Maybe it only looks like that on females. I don't know. Because, uh... I've never worn that set as a male. So I wouldn't know. I've only yet to worn it as a female. Okay, so... There was a thing up there. Uh... Another item over here. Soulsaw Twin Blades. Yep, that's the, uh... That's the starting weapons for the mercenary class as well. So if we did go mercenary, we would have... Yeah, we would have looked like this for a while. It's cool, but... I don't know. I like our current sword a bit better. Alright. Farron Coal. Oh. Message lied. Rating you poor, mate. Ugh, that's not an illusory wall at all. Hmm. It's weird because I don't think there's any... Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything else around here. How's our time looking? Uh, okay, yeah, we're only halfway through the episode basically. Just over halfway, but... Who's counting? I mean, I am, but you guys ain't. I would love one of these walls just to be like an illusory wall. Am I saying that right? Illusory illus illusory wall. I've always found that a weird weird one to say. There's a gate there too that's just like blocked off and there's a message behind it which really effing teases me and there's just a dead <laughs> guy there oh he's the guy we got the item off of right maybe not um, I might be misremembering things it doesn't look like we can do anything in here just yet Unless we found a couple more messages to point us in the right direction. Hmm? Seems familiar. Night ahead. Oh, right, yeah, they're talking about the night, yeah. Because they were a major enemy in Dark Souls 1. Okay. Oh! So I killed you. <laughs> Well, it turns out you killed me. Hmm. Former king of Lothric. Former king? Huh. Ok, 
Okay, it's uh, uh, this is a difficult area, I'd say. Uh, maybe I'm just under leveled for it or something. Mm, I'm not really too sure. Let's try progressing in a different way. Instead of going the way we usually do, what about we go this way? Okay. Uh, you are still following us. And so we, so is that guy. God. Well, I see an item down there, so this seems almost like it's the right way. We'll try to remember that for next time. Hunters known as the King's Black Hands. That does look like a cool armor set. Regretted that instantly. Hmm. Where, oh, where? Okay. So those guys got me last time. I should deal with them this time. Ooh. Okay, that was a nice backstab. Let's deal with these two now. Okay, now let's head down here. Oh, yay, an Essa shard. Yeah, it's always nice to get. Was this an ember? And you're that bastard. Oh, he's so strong. I saw another one as well behind him. Totally gonna enjoy fighting two of these. I uh, still not dead. Okay, now he's dead. Okay, where are we looking now? I'm just head along this path, I suppose. Is there really any other way to go? Doesn't look like it, anyway. Hmm. Okay. I see an item, I think. Maybe I don't. Yeah, I do. I think that's an item over there. <clears throat> oh, and this is a bonfire. Oh, I didn't really realise we were in a new area of uh, the Crucifixion Woods. Okay. Oh. That background music is quite ominous. If you just give that a listen, if you can. I mean, I know I'm talking and I know the enemies are screaming as well, so... I'll just give you a really quick listen. I don't know, there's just some... It sounds like there's a lot going on in the background. Wherever that background may be. 